all my life, advertising is the only thing I've ever known. So why is it that this time, why does this time feel like I'm selling out? Ha! I'm Sam Sale, marketing expert, professional advertiser, and seller of things. Today we're going to talk about my background, where I came from, how I came to be the ad icon I am today, and how I ended up joining the shm shm sh shm What's it called, Joe? You mean schmook? Yeah, that. Uh, why can't it just be called something simple, like the Joe Network? Why's it gotta be- Just get on with it. Alright, what? Fine, whatever. Right, anyways, let's get the big question out of the way first. Yes, my last name is actually Sale. The word Sale actually derives from my family's last name. We were first. The Sale family line has been in the business of marketing since ancient Rome. My ancestor Salius invented propaganda for Emperor Julius Caesar. We then switched over to the private sector in the Renaissance when my other ancestor, Charles Sale, started using old Salius' techniques to sell art to the masses. Since then, every revolution in the advertising world has come from our family. For example, the billboard was invented by my great-grandfather Bill Sale as he traveled west across America putting up big old signs. And since then, my father, Sid Sale, was one of the first people to do infomercials. He just got overshadowed by people like Billy Mays, and see, that's when our family really started to hit tough times. My dad loved what he did, he was great at it, but the Sale family name just didn't mean what it used to. People nowadays don't even know who we are. As a kid, I watched him try and fail, constantly trying to make it in this world as an advertiser. Him and my grandpa, all they ever wanted from me was for me to continue on the family tradition, to make the name mean something again, to really sell stuff. But it's never been what I wanted to do. I mean, it's interesting, I love it, sure, but it's not what I want to do, you know? I wanted to be a newsman, I wanted to be on TV and report the truth and stick it to the powerful with facts and humor and entertaining stuff. I don't hate advertising, I find it incredibly interesting, it's just not what I'm passionate about, you know? So anyways, uh, early 2000s I, I start my career, I get some, some gigs doing commercials, infomercials, that kind of thing. Then one day I meet this guy named Joe. Hey, that's me. Hey, shut up Joe. He hires me to help promote the Schmook Network. Now of course I don't know what the Schmook Network is, I don't even know what YouTube is at this point. So we have to sit down and talk a lot about what it is he's wanting to do with this online video thing. And in the conversation we somehow get to talk about what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish and how dissatisfied I was with the ad industry. And we ended up using a lot of that conversation in the video, you know, it was a lot of me griping about the ad industry. Talk about how gimmicky and cheap the ads were, and how the Schmook Network, the ad made content that was better. Except it doesn't try to sell stuff, it tries to inspire people, promote a positive lifestyle, whatever it is we do here. Nice to know you pay attention. Hey, what I say? Shut up, this is my documentary, you're just here to run the camera. Anyways, that was my first time getting to, you know, speak truth to power while still doing something kind of ad related. Uh, and it was great, one of the most fun I've ever had on a project, and I should have appreciated what I had, but uh, shortly after that I got offered a job as a newsman, and you know, that's what I always wanted to do. Uh, I worked there for uh, one, one session of shooting, uh, I did horrible at it. I'm not, I'm not actually cut out to be a newsman. I was putting, I was putting too much of my own opinions into what was supposed to just be a straight news segment. I, I made jokes that didn't make sense. They weren't funny. It, even I don't like it. Looking back and watching it, it it's not good. It's not. Let's just move on. I, I don't, I don't like talking about it. Once I lost that job, I was kind of lost for a while. You know, I. I refused to take another job, I was in the industry I wanted to be in, why would I go back to advertising, you know? Once they started shutting off the lights, my wife left me, that that hurt. Um, understandably so, I mean, I wasn't even providing for her enough for there to be TV for us to watch. 
much less a, a refrigerator and, and lights to stay up past the sun. So at that point I was ready to admit defeat. Uh, I called up my old agent, he still owed me a favor from back in the day, and I said, listen, get me a job doing anything. A a any ads, I'll, uh, no matter how small, I gotta do something so I can eat. Hey Gerald, it's Sam. I'm calling in a favor. I do not go by that name anymore. What? Gerald, as you knew him, is no more. I am the seer. The seer? Gerald, that's a stupid nickname. You're blind. I was blind, Sam. Now I see things. Once I joined the cult of the nerd, they taught me to see many things. The past, the future, things beyond time itself. I see your path, Sam Sale. And it is not with us. Not yet, anyways. Now, if you don't have cult business, then discuss with me. I'm afraid this much contact with outsiders is discouraged for one of my rank. Well, wait, wait. I, I could do, like, uh, cult promotional videos or something. Help help make it cool with the kids. It's, it's a nerd cult. It's 2015. Being a nerd is already cool with the kids. Stupid. Come on, man. Just uh, talk, uh, talk about it with your... Weird cult overlords. Listen, I, I just need a job. I just need something, man. My lights are off. I'll ask my superiors. But only because I like you, Sam. Thanks, Gerald. Talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I'll see you at Jim's cookout on Saturday. Bye. So, uh, I did some ads for the stupid cult. I hated it. I felt less fulfilled than doing advertisements ever had. I, I needed a change, and one presented itself to me. I ran into uh, Tracy Cooper. She was a girl that uh, did videos for the network back at the time. She doesn't anymore, otherwise we'd, we'd bring her in here. She recognized me at a bus stop, and you know, I, I knew who she was from when I had done the first video. She told me that uh, when she first started making videos, she was kind of in a dark place, and the network helped figure it out what she really liked doing. Um, and I figured they kind of helped did that for me just in the one video we'd done together, so I, I went back to see Joe again. And since then, I've become a full-time character here. Character is a job title, by the way. Obviously, myself, a hipster nerd, we're, we're very real people. We're not just like characters that Joe plays or anything. That's utterly ridiculous. It's a job title. It's very normal thing, I think. But it's been nice working here. Uh, it really has helped me get back on my feet. Not only that, it's uh, helped me rediscover what inspires me, what helps get me going as a creator. I think Joe does that for all of us here. He, he finds creative people that don't really know what to do on their own and it gives him a chance at redemption to really find that thing that inspires us. The main thing I'm actually here to unveil is that as part of a, a big project that the whole network's working on, I'm gonna start doing uh, reviews of advertisements, it, which will be really great, you know, because I get to combine my love of speaking truth to power with my expertise in the ad field into one uh, mesh of, of doing it all at once, you know? But before that, we're going to be working on some anarchist propaganda. Joe, what is this here on the teleprompter? First of all, it's gibberish. And second of all, what project are we... Oh, of course, he's not there. It's something I actually need Joe for and he's not behind the camera. Tip Typical, am I right? There's someone down the hall. Joe, is that you? Come here, I got to ask you something. Who is that? Hello? What's you doing? This is a this is a close sec. You can't be back here. I'm trying to record. Some. Hey, what what gives? We